Hello students, let's do percent and percentage exercise 9D. Exercise 9D is on page number 118. Question 7. Find the number which when increased by 6% becomes 424. So we need to find this number and when that is increased by 6%, that means when you add that to this number, it becomes 424. So, let the required number be x. We don't know what the number is. We're going to say, let it be x. Now, percentage increase is 6%. How much has been increased? Let's convert this and see. So, 6% has been increased. That means 6% of x has been increased. So, that is 6 by 100 into x. We can reduce this to the lowest term by dividing both by 2. 2 3s are 6 and 2 into 50 is 100. Now let's multiply the numerators. 3 into x is 3x by 50. So the percentage increased is 3x by 50. That means x plus this should give us 424. So let's do that. x, the original number, the required number, plus 3x by 50. When we add this up, we should get 424. So now here we need to find the LCM here because this is addition of fractions. So let's work that out. Now here we'll give it the denominator 1. So in this case, the LCM will be 50. Isn't it? LCM is 50. Now here 1 into 50 is 50. So multiply x also into 50. 50 into x is 50x plus, let's go to the next fraction. Here it is 50 denominator. 50 into 1, so 3x into 1 is 3x. Now together this will give us 424. That means 50x plus 3x is 53x. 53x by 50 is equal to 424. Now we're going to find the value of x. So first we'll write 53x. On the right hand side we have 424. Now, I'm going to transpose this 50 from the left-hand side to the right. It's division on the left. When it goes to the right, it becomes multiplication. So, into 50. So, we'll write it like that. We'll leave it there. Then, now to find the value of x, this will be 424 into 50 divided by 53. How did it become division? Here on the left side, it is multiplication. When I transposed it to the right side, it has now become division. Now we can work this out. Now here you need to see if there is something we can cancel. Generally, there's always something to cancel. So you have to take that as a hint and then try. Now 53 will not go in 50. But will you be able to multiply so that you get 424? If you multiply 53 by 8. Now let's do that and see. 53 into 8. 8 threes are 24, carry 2. 8 fives are 40, plus 2 is 42. 424. So you can see that we got this. So usually when you reach something like this, remember there will always be something to cancel. So look out and see what you can cancel. Cancelling will make your work easier. So here now 53 into 8 will give us 424. So cancel this and write 8 and this is 1. Now, can you see your multiplication has become easier? Now, we just have to multiply 8 into 50. So, we are finding the value of x. x is equal to 8 into 50. 8 fives are 40 and then you add a 0. So, the answer here is x is equal to 400. And what is x? We said let the required number be x. We have been asked to find the number and the number is x and x is 400. So, let's write our answer here x is 400. So we have found the number. The number is 400. Question 8. Find the number which when decreased by 15% becomes 1360. Again, we don't know the number. So we're going to say that the required number be x. Now this is decreased by 15%. So the percentage decreased is 15%. That is 15% of x. How much is that? That will be 15 by 100 of is into and then x. Cancel what you can. Now 15 and 100 by 5. 5 threes are 15 and 5 into 20 is 100. 
So now what do we have? 3x by 20. This is the percentage decreased. Now the question says the percentage decreased becomes when you decrease it, it becomes 1360. So that means when I take the number, when I decrease this by 15%, which I found out to be 3x by 20, my answer is already given in the question 1360. From this, we can find the value of x by finding the LCM here because these are fractions, subtraction of fractions. So let's give this the denominator 1. So when you have two denominators, one, is, one number is 1 and the other is another number, the other number automatically becomes the LCM. So this is 20. So now let's get our new numerators. 1 into 20. So x into 20. x into 20 is 20x. So here I'll write 20x minus, now the next denominator is 20. So now we're going to multiply it by 1 because 20 ones are 20. Now 3x into 1 is 3x. Now this is equal to 1360. So now here 20x minus 3x. 20 minus 3 is 17. So here we can write 17x by 20 is equal to 1360. Now we can find the value of x. First write 17x is equal to 1360 into 20. Now how did I get into 20? On the left hand side 20 is division. Now I'm transposing it to the right so it becomes multiplication. So into 20. Now I'm going to find the value of only x. So how will it how will I have to write it? It will be 1360 into 20 divided by 17 because here 17 is multiplication on the left side. Now when I take it to the right side, it will become division like this. Now what can I cancel? I cannot cancel 17 and 20. But can I cancel 17 and 1360? Let's divide and see whether it's going well. Okay. Now, 1360, let's see whether it is divisible by 17. Now, 17 into 8, okay, 8 7s are 56, carry 5, 8 1s are 8, it's 13, 136 minus, now you have 0 here, you just have to carry the 0 up. So, you can see that the, the remainder is 0. That means this number 1360 is divisible by 17. 17 into 80 into 80 so let's cancel here and write 80 and cancel the 17 17 ones are 17 now multiply the numerators so now it's easier multiply 8 and 2 first 8 twos are 16 and then put the two zeros 1600 so we have found the value of x x is equal to 1600 and what did we say x is x is the required number. So we have found the number. So x is 1600. So let's write that x is equal to 1600 and this is our answer. Question 9. The cost of an article decreased from 17,000 rupees to 15,918. Find the percentage decrease. So this was the original cost. Then this is the final cost when the cost decreased. That means first we have to find out the decrease in the cost and then find the percentage decrease. So the original cost is 17,000 rupees. The decreased cost is 15,980 rupees. Now we have to find the decrease in cost. How do we find the decrease in cost? By subtracting these two numbers. That is the original cost minus the decreased cost. So let's take the original number 17,000 rupees minus the decreased cost is 15,980 rupees. So now let's borrow 17,000 minus 15,980. So here we have to borrow from 7, this is 6, 10, 9, then again 10 and we leave it there. So now let's Subtract this. 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 9 is 0. 
6 minus 5 is 1 and then we have a 0. So what is the decrease in cost? The decrease in cost is 1020 rupees. Now that we have found the decrease in cost, we can find the percentage decrease. So percentage decrease will be decrease in cost which is 1020 divided by the original cost which is 17,000 rupees into 100% because we are finding the percentage. Okay, so now let's cancel. I can cancel two zeros here and two zeros here. I can cancel one zero here and one zero here. Now I can cancel 17 and 102. 17 ones are 17 and 17 into 6 is 102. So now what do I have here? I just have 6%. So I have found the percentage decrease and the percentage decrease is 6%. So this is my final answer. Question 10. The actual length of a rope is 22.5 meters, but it is wrongly measured as 21.6 meters. Find the percentage error. So what is the actual length of the rope? 22.5 meters. And what is the errored length of the rope? That means a wrong length, 21.6. So let's write that first. The actual length of a rope, 22.5 meters. Then the errored length is 21.6 meters. So what is the error? What is the difference? So let's find that. The error in the length is 22.5 meters minus 21.6 meters. So let's do that. Let's subtract 22.5 meters minus 21.6 meters. This will give us the error. So 22.5 minus 21.6. So when we subtract here 5 minus 6 is small. So we need to borrow from here. So 15 minus 6 is 9 point. Then we have 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0. So what do we have here? 0 0.9. So the error in length is 0 0.9 meters. So this is the error in length. Now we can find the percentage error by writing this error in length, dividing this by the actual length of the rope, that is 22.5 meters, and then multiplying this by 100%. So this will be 0.9 by 22.5 into 100%. Now let me take this separately. Let me take only this part separately and show you how I can remove the point. Now I'm going to remove the decimal point. So for that, what will I do? 0 0.9 and 22.5 is my fraction here. And here I'm going to remove the point by moving it one place to the right. If I have to move it one place to the right, I must multiply by 10. Here also I multiply by 10. So when I move it by one place to the right, what do I get? 9 by 225 because I've moved the point. So here it becomes 9.0 which I can write as 9. Here it becomes 225.0 which I can write as 225. So let's write that here. So this will be 9 by 225 into 100%. Now what can we cancel? I can cancel 225 and 100 by 5. 5 4s are 20. Then I have 2 left, 25. 5 5s are 25. Now here, 5 into 20 is 100. Now I can cancel 9 and 45. 9 5s are 45. I can cancel 5 and 20. 5 1s are 5. 5 4s are 20. So finally, I have only 4% left. So this is 4% and I have found the percentage error. The percentage error is 4%. So this is my final answer. So with this children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.